Hey guys, so for my second video, I figured I would do a video on what your agent says about you. Um, yeah, that's really it. I'm not going to sit here and waste your time and beg you to like and subscribe, so let's get on with the video. Okay, so first off is Jet. As you will know, I am a Jet main. Um, the first thing you need to know about Jet is that Jet is definitely a bad bitch. She is a big time sweat, and Jet mains are toxic, including myself. But we work hard for it, so we have a right to be toxic. Um, one thing that I both like and dislike about Jet is that she made me listen to K-pop again, which I swore I would never do after BTS went mainstream. Um, my Jet playlist is called Top Frag Shit, and it has songs like Skechers by Drip Report, which honestly goes hard despite the fact that it's a meme. Um, what else? When I play Jet, I like to jump people in a dark alleyway and mug them. And playing Jet basically turns Valorant into a point-and-click adventure game. Like, you don't even need to do anything except be good at your aim and be really angry at everyone you're playing against. Honestly, the only reason I picked Jet was because in Destiny 2, I bound my Dawnblade Warlock to the Burst Glide mechanic, and once I got used to that, I really didn't feel comfortable playing as anyone else because I couldn't really move around right. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Jet. Oh yeah, except one more thing with Jet. To play Jet correctly, you need to be like me, and what you need to do is you need to play Aimtastic every day for at least 30 minutes, and I have like 41 hours in Aimtastic. Honestly, you should be playing Aim Trainer so much that in your sleep you see those fucking little red dots appearing everywhere all over the screen. That is my last warning for Jet. Um, as for rating Jet, on the Joe Rogan Jiu Jitsu meter, I would give her a 10 out of 10. She's pretty good. Um, moving on to the next agent. Alright, so Viper. Viper is really chill until she isn't. For example, my friend who mains Viper and has been maining Viper since the game came out. Um, he has seven birds, and he names them after literary characters, and he knits in his spare time. But when he plays Viper, he will wait to jump people with a two-barrel glow-in-the-dark shotgun. And honestly, I have more clips of him that I could put in the montage than myself. So, Viper will go 28 to 4 and not even notice, and um, uh, he's slightly sad at Viper being ignored as a character, but loves Viper too much to leave her as well, which is a pretty toxic relationship. Um, I'm not even going to address that pun. So, besides having a major fatty and being built like a Dasani water bottle, her ult can turn the whole map into Chernobyl, and Viper takes a lot of skill and patience to play, and I would say that she's actually the most IQ dependent agent in the game, uh, which means that basically you need more than five interconnected functioning neurons uh, to play her. Um, the only bad thing about Viper is that Riot really refuses to pay child support for her, which is kind of a shame and basically led her to grow up depressed and develop these e-girl characteristics. Um, so on a toxic meter, yeah, I'd, I'd rate Viper a Britney out of 10. She's pretty good. Alright, so next off is Raze, and the thing about Raze is that you start to play her as a joke, but then eventually you play her so much that hearing fire in the hold sparks some Marie Kondo style joy instead of like inevitable PTSD flashbacks. So my friend who plays Viper also plays Raze like once in a blue moon and one time after he played her for more than five times in, in succession to grind ults, he said he could feel the power going to his head. And honestly, I don't blame him because having Raze on your side is just kind of like picking like you're on a high school basketball team and you pick Shaquille O'Neal. Like, it's kind of like that. Um, every main of Rays that I've met, I mean, most of them have been insufferably toxic, even more so than Jet. Because the thing with Rays versus Jet is that, like, while Jet mains actually put in effort, Rays mains just kind of fuck around like a toddler who figures out that he can put rocks instead of bullets into his nerf gun and win every round. Um, so as for rating Rays, she's basically a living Bakugan. So I guess on like the living Bakugan meter, she gets like an 8 out of 10. She's pretty good. Alright, now for Omen. Um, Omen's voice lines, they're pretty fine, pretty fire. Um, but the thing about Omen is that his face is completely covered with a hood, like that one kid who sits in the back of math class and doesn't want to be called on. Um, most of the Omen mains are, I've met at least, are really nice, even the sweaty one, but... A lot of people who play him are kind of clueless, and they're usually depressed and have major self-esteem issues. And if you get them angry, they will stay angry when they'll say anything to you. So one of my friends thinks that Omen is an octopus because of a Reddit post they read like five months ago. And I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good explanation, but I think there's other things involved in it, such as Sage being a major fuck-up when trying to res him and Viper being majorly pissed at her. Um, 
In my experience, when I try to play Omen, and when other players play Omen, you die about 60% of the time not even playing, but just from being shot while teleporting or placing smokes. Omen is basically just Jet, but slower. And in game, I would rate him a Schrodinger out of 10 because I don't even know what the fuck is up with him. Like, I don't even know if he's alive or not, so he might be fucking dead in this universe at the time of recording. Alright, next up is Yoru. So Yoru is absolutely a fuckboy as we covered in the previous video. Okay, Yoru texts like a di uh, dick. Spike planted. Yoru texts like a, like a degenerate. Like a yeah. fuckboy. Um, <laughs> Yoru's a fuckboy. <laughs> He would be the type of agent to say, you're too pretty to take antidepressant medication, ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. Um, probably wishes he could get with Reyna, but he can't. Um, your remains, in my experience, will use iFunny, and they're usually around 12 to 16 years old. Probably vape. Um, Yoru is the type of guy who watched Rebel Without a Cause once and slicked back his hair and tried to drive his fucking convertible off a cliff. Um, so to rate Yoru, Yeah, so Sky. I used to hate Sky, and she was actually my most hated character in the entire game. I hated her look, her accent, and basically everything about her because I just found it annoying. But the more I see her, I've become used to her, and in fact, I've actually grown to like her. Sky has more muscles than He Man, and she's kind of chill as fuck. Even if she isn't good at the game, she's kind of weak as an offensive character. But Sky will have you laughing like an American politician would laugh at the country's problems. Um,. When one of my friends plays Sky, he refu refers to using her wolf as going a woo, which is pretty hilarious. And we have a joke that out of all the agents, Sky is definitely the most likely to smoke weed. Like, on a one to stone meter, it would be like Snoop Dogg on the Joe Rogan experience in Colorado. And her voice lines are hilarious and she will blind the fuck out of you, even if you're a teammate. Which I don't really mind because it makes for good content and also because she can heal you after you get riddled with bullets like Swiss cheese. Um. I would say her heal is even better than Sage, which actually might make her a better team healer. Um, Sky gets 10 utes out of 10 utes. She's definitely the Sheila I'd pick up at the bar, um, throw some shrimps on the bobby and whatnot. Yeah, so next up is Reyna. Reyna mains are extremely passive aggressive, and people who play Reyna are either a hardcore gamer girl or a college age male who quit his entire livelihood to make it in the esports world. They're kind of silent, but deadly, as you can see from this flashback. Oh fuck! They're in garage, in garage, garage. You just go back, back. Um, a Reyna main named Baby Dragon stayed to carry my friends and I in a game once, even after his mother made him lasagna. And you know, I really respect him for that, because, you know, spaghetti you could pass up, but lasagna is pretty good. Um, Reynas will hard carry you in the game and then tell you they're home alone after. They are... I'd give them... 3 out of 10. The one problem I have with Reyna is that she heals too fucking much, which makes her a bitch to kill if you're trying to clutch against her. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, so Killjoy. Every Killjoy main I've met so far has been super nice without fail, and they're probably the type of person to collect Funko Pops and visit cat cafes in their spare time. Which, I mean, aren't really my hobbies, but whatever. You know, they're chillin'. Um, other than that, I don't really have a ton to say about Killjoy. Killjoy means just genuinely enjoy playing the game, and they're there for the fun and the friends. Also, Killjoy's gun skin is really cool. Um, it's a shame that it's a shorty because it's objectively the worst gun in the game. Um, my friends and I have a running joke that Killjoy is basically just an interior designer. Like, all she does is you call her over to a site, she decorates it with her fancy little turrets and equipment, and then leaves. Um, but you know, Killjoy's pretty cool. Uh, as a rating, Killjoy would get... Time out! Okay, next is Sage, and Sage mains are basically Killjoy mains, except they have the dark side, and the thing about Sage is they either suck or they're really, really good. You can tell immediately whether a Sage is 100% clueless or has at least three interconnected neurons in a frontal lobe. If you see a Sage with an op, you should probably run because they're probably intelligent, and if you see a Sage with an op risen up on a wall, you should probably run and just rotate the hell away to the other site. Um, Sage's heal isn't as good as Sky, in my opinion, but as an offensive character, she can hold her own, and that is because she can heal yourself. Like, with Sky, she can heal her friends, but she can't really heal herself, which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, Jet's voice line when she kills Sage is also kind of funny. Aw, can't res yourself? 
So, the thing about Sage is if you play Sage, people will ask you to do random shit for them all the time. Like, at first it'll be stuff like Sage heal me, Sage revive me, Sage wall here, but then it'll eventually escalate into stuff like Sage officiate my marriage, Sage name my firstborn child, Sage file my taxes. Um, which isn't really a great thing to have to do. So if you like to actually play the game and don't like just simping for your team the whole time, don't play Sage. Um, if I had to choose, I would say my favorite thing about Sage is the wide Sage meme. And also she resurrects me sometimes, which is cool. Okay, so next up is Phoenix, and Phoenix basically has the personality of KSI, as well as the confidence of young Leonardo DiCaprio and <clears throat> the outfit of a drip god. Phoenix would wait on the Yeezy site for the new sneakers to launch, and then would not be able to buy them because he forgot to have a bot, and then he would go upstairs and listen to Juice World after. Um, Phoenix is pretty often a starter character for new players, so he gets the reputation of being pretty bad, which personally I don't really think he deserves. Um, if you see a Phoenix and Spike Rush are unrated, assume they're terrible until proven otherwise, but in comp they're usually pretty good, and I would actually say they have about 10 neurons in comp, which is really good, I mean that's probably better than me. Um, the single difference between a bad Phoenix player and a good one is knowing how and when to use his abilities like flashes and self heals, etc. And usually people either don't know how to use them or literally do not care. I don't know if this is a widespread thing, but every single time I've been team killed or my friends have been team killed, it's been by a phoenix. And really, I think the big takeaway from this is if you have a phoenix on your team, basically get life insurance and assume he's really bad, but if he's really good, then just let him carry you. And stay out of the fire, super high level tactics, yeah? That's it. So as for Cypher, um, Cypher calls himself an information broker, which basically just means he leaks people's OnlyFans, and he spoofed his DNS once using Komodo Dragon Browser and downloaded the first season of Attack on Titan, so I mean that means he thinks he's a hacker. But most Cypher mains I've met have actually been pretty pure-hearted and kind, and they're never really toxic, they're always helpful, and like Killjoy, they like to interior decorate a little bit. Some Cyphers are really good at the game, and when they are, it's scary. And one thing I appreciate about the Cypher ult is that it can find you hot single MILFs in your area. And Cypher likes to spy on people through his camera. And you know, I like to spy on people through unsecured webcams, so we have that in common. That's a joke. That's a joke. Alright, so Brimstone. Um, Brisbane mains are always a dude, and this is a fact because people who play Brickwall always came to Valorant from CSGO or R6, which I don't really blame them because R6 is full of hackers now. And then they wonder why almost every agent in Valorant looks like it was designed by a CalArts graduate who thinks that sea cucumbers are vegan. Um, jokes aside, everyone who plays Brandon is really a cool and likable guy, and they're a bit old school and very polite, and they'll make you feel welcome. They don't really carry, but they're definitely a team player. I would say that while they don't carry, they don't generally get killed every round, which is good. You know, you like to have that. Breastbone's accent kinda sounds like someone imitating an American pretty well but just poorly enough that you can tell something isn't right. Someone invited me to the church barbecue. I mean, yeah, I would go. Brimstone's pretty cool. The one thing I appreciate the most about Brim is that he's a true team player, and his smokes really help me because as a jet main, mine are very short-lived, so I can use it as an advantage. And, um... Bottom line, yeah, it's always a... Pr it's... Fuck. It's always a pleasure playing with Blin. Blinstone. Alright, so for Breach, I haven't heard that name in a long time, and the reason for that is that Breach mains are rarer than an employed philosophy major, and Breach is basically what was in the Pulp Fiction suitcase. He knows Obama's last name, and he was the head developer of Sword Art Offline, and I actually forget what his ult is, which basically tells you that I almost never see him in any matches. And his concussion is pretty good though. I really don't like it though because it fricks up my aim. And then I can't crack people open like eggs, like ding ding ding. Um, I give Breach a 4 out of 10, and that's not because I don't like him, because I do, but because coincidentally 4 is also the amount of times I've seen a Breach main in my entire life. I would say if you want to play as like a Swedish man with a beard, go play Valheim or like Assassin's Creed Valhalla because you will never see Breach in Valorant, like whatsoever. Yeah, so as for Sova, Sova has a good heart. I mean, he also has hair like Fabio, which is cool. The one Sova main I've known personally was a simp who got cheated on by an e-girl, but he also had drip, so you know, that's pretty good. 
I don't see people playing Sova as often these days, which is sad because he's a great character. And also because he's basically Sans Undertale. And Sans Undertale fucking sucks, but Sova's pretty good. Um, his recon dart is pretty OP if you know how to use it. And that's because like Cypher's ult, it can also find you hot single Russian milfs in your area. In Soviet Russia, Sova and also Party finds you. And... Yeah, I mean, that's basically it about Sova. I give him a shock dot out of 10. Okay, so Astra. I know at the time of this video, Astra is new and no one knows how to play her yet, but I swear that Astra means are just absolutely fucking clueless. And when she came out, I was terrified that she was going to be OP, but she actually kind of sucks. And the only people I've seen main Astra so far have actually been terrible at the game. Like, I'm not just saying like, okay, they're not good at using Astra. Like, you know, sometimes I play Jet and sometimes I just fucking smoke off Cubby and see long and they shoot me immediately, but... Like, they don't actually know how to play the game whatsoever. And by that I mean they don't know how to aim, they don't move around the map. And honestly, I feel bad for them about that because they had to pay at least $10 to unlock her as an agent this early. So, I mean, imagine getting your paycheck and then you say, okay, I'm going to lock this character and then you do it. And then you just fucking suck at them. You just fucking suck at them and you've wasted your entire week's pay. Um, For example, you could take this clip in which an Astro watching B showers on split literally just stands there and lets me ult her without even moving. She might have been AFK in her defense, but I mean, if you're gonna be AFK, then, you know, don't play. Her abilities are also kind of annoying and graphically loud, but then again, I have not met a competent Astro main as of yet, so you know, we're chilling. Um, as for the rating for Astro, it got stuck behind her wall, so I can't see it, so sorry about that. Uh, so that is all the Valorant agents, and that was a long fucking video, and I'm bored, so hustle, pasta.